my nanny has gone. My nanny has left us. Boy. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Miss Priestess Life, a channel where I document a few days of my life um, and take you through this life journey with me. So welcome to this week's vlog, starting it in the middle of the week, being that my, my, my nanny has left us. My nanny has gone. My nanny has left us. Boy. Anyway, just kidding. Yeah, so, okay, so she's left us for real, but not in a bad way. Um, she's gone to a funeral of a, of a dear sister of hers. So she's gone for a few days. And being that it's uh, on Tuesday, I'll be handling mommy duties as well as work. I'll be balancing work and and home duties um, until she gets back. I was hoping to get somebody to come in and help me, but that did not work out well the way I thought. The conditions they were setting for me were just hideous and not making any sense. So I decided, you know what? I'll just uh, get get advocates to hold my brief in matters that they can hold my brief. And then I'll go into the office for drafting and filing purposes, you know, signing documents and whatnot. And uh, for busier days, which I'm assuming like tomorrow and Thursday, I'll just have somebody trusted, collect my child from school, bring her to me to my office. So it's 6 p.m. Yeah, it's 5.30. My nanny just left now. I'm heading out to take her bus to Uganda. Um, I just put Paula uh, in timeout because of one, two, three things that, you know, if you don't listen to grown-ups, there are consequences to those actions. So right now she is going through some of the consequences. Here she is. Hey girl. She's asleep. Are you kidding me? No. Oh god. No, she won't sleep at night. Uh -uh. We can't have this. We need to wake her up, let her eat dinner, and then she can sleep as well. So she needs to eat because it's 5 30 outside. She always goes to bed by 7 p.m. She should be asleep. And if she's sleeping now, it's going to interfere with my whole program. So here she had woken up and eaten her chapo, and this was her eating her dengu and spinach. Um, why does she not eat the two together? That is a question that is yet to be answered and whoever has an answer can tell me. But this is how she does it and as long as the food ends up in the tummy, I honestly don't care. Yeah. So at this point I realized if I continue sitting down with her feeding her, we might still be here until 7pm and there are clothes to be unhanged outside so I proceeded hang those clothes and start folding them while uh, simultaneously feeding her.
okay guys so i'm done for the night i'm now going to sleep early because uh, tomorrow i have to wake up extremely early than usual to prepare paula for school and myself for the office and both of us be out of this house on time i need to effectively plan myself so that's what i'm gonna do right now i want to do a to-do list for the morning routine so that i don't forget anything so i've noticed that sometimes i do forget to give her her drugs or you know just one thing or another so i do the to-do list now and then i'll take it off um tomorrow Okay, so it's 11 p.m. I can't sleep, so I'm drinking my my ginger shots. Um, this uh, recipe is on on my Instagram page. Mm, it's a mixture of uh, ginger, turmeric, or, um, lemon, what else? Beetroot and carrots. So I made juice out of it. It's very bitter. So I want to take it, and I think I'm going to collect my child from the other room. Because I just can't sleep here, knowing that she's in the other room and it's just us in the house. I feel I'll feel better if I sleep with her. So I'm going to collect her. See you tomorrow morning. That's it that's how our night was for my daughter and i without a nanny um see you on the next vlog where i show you the rest of the days how um we juggled and managed um thank you for watching bye